Hey guys, this is Nicole from Lillian and Pad 2 or maybe 12 and today you're seeing me that I'm not in my room, I'm in my kitchen right now and what we're going to be doing today is uh, making lipstick out of a crayon. Now, this is a very simple, easy way to do it less, and less than just buying stuff from the store and just, that you could just find in your house. So let's get started. Okay, so the things that you will be needing is a bowl to put um, the, the crayons in to melt it. Either a small or big jar of Vaseline. The colors that you're going to pick for the, um, for the lipstick. A container. Um, you can put as much as, um, uh, as much water as you want, but let just be half of the water that you're going to be putting, or just water, a bowl, and a pan. So, the first thing that you're going to be doing is putting water at, in the pan. Then you're going to be peeling your crown first, so you're going to be seeing where you're gonna peel it before you start um, putting it in the oven. Make sure that you need adult supervision for this because you're um, also gonna be needing a stove or an oven, which I think you have in your kitchen. So yeah, go to your stove and get all the stuff that you need and start peeling the crayon. So it's easy to peel off a crayon because um. It, it, shows you, it shows you a side. So I'm peeling it from the paper of the crayon. Now I chose two colors because I want mine to be kind of um, bright. So I peel this off. Now make sure that when you put the, that you're, when you're going to put the crayon in the jar, make sure that all the paper from the crayon is out because you're not gonna want a paper lipstick. So I'll be recording when I'm done peeling this crayon off. So after you're done peeling your crayon, which I'm using too, you're gonna be putting the stove to medium heat and letting the, and letting the water cool off. So you're gonna be putting in the water, as I told you earlier, and now when you're finished peeling off the crayon, you break it and put all the pieces of the crayons that you're breaking in the jar. Now I didn't tell you this earlier, but you are going to need a spoon with the Vaseline and, and oh, with your finger. <laughs> Larry. So now what you're gonna be doing is that with your Vaseline, you're going to be needing to Okay, so I didn't tell you this before, but you are gonna be needing a spoon and a stick made out of wood. If you don't have this, then you're gonna be needing a toothpick, but it, it but your jar is going to be little if you're gonna want to do it with a toothpick. Okay, so what you're gonna be doing is with the spoon, you're gonna be putting in two scoops. So let the toothpick or the stick help you doing this. So my mom's going to be doing the Vaseline part because, as you see, I'm doing bad at it. Now you see that my pan is in slow, I mean it's in low heat because um, the pan was like burning hot. So make sure that your parents or your whoever's watching you putting it in low heat if it's burning. Okay, so let my mom do this. By the way, it could be any type of color for the vessel. My mom's only gonna be needing to put two scoops. So you tend to put two scoops in your jar. So 
So after you're done, you're gonna be needing to put the jar in the pan. Now be careful because this is going to get very hot. Now wait until the crayon melts, which I think is melting from the jar. So again, with the toothpick that you put the Vaseline in, you're gonna be stirring the crayon. Now make sure that your parents do this, or if you wanna do it by yourself, be careful because the pan is hot and you're, gonna, and you're using your fingers for this. So as you can see, the crayon is melting with the Vaseline. So keep stirring it until all crayons are dissolved. Okay. So I couldn't show you the part where I was taking um, the jar off from the pan because it was hot, 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 so I don't have to help me with this. But when um, the Crayola is completely melted with the Vaseline, you're going to be using it to here, be turning off the fire, and taking off the pan. But let your parents help you with that because my parent or my mom, no, I'm doing this because... I helped her with it too. So my mom put it there and now it, the water is, you know, cooling down. So the next thing that you're gonna be doing is be putting the jar in the freezer for about 10 minutes because, oh no wait, sorry, 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 sorry. Please excuse me. What you're gonna be doing is be putting the lipstick in the container that you have. I have a small, small, small container. Okay. So after you put it in the container, you're going to be coming with me. And be putting in the freezer. Or, yeah, you can put it in the freezer. Put it there next to the whatever you have there and now you're going to be waiting for about 10 minutes and now we'll be right back okay so it actually worked because um now um it's like a little bit of little bit of times you have to um put it in the oven a little bit um not in the oven um, i mean um how do you say it worked, but the problem was that the time that we put it in the refrigerator was 10, right? So after we did that, we realized that we um, didn't, like, put a timer um, close to 10. But uh, um, after we took it out, I put it back in the jar, and then I put this inside. I put it in the pan and waited, like, five minutes, and look at my lips. It's pink and even though the color looks bright on the container it it, it actually is it so i would for sure not putting it in the refrigerator if you want then it will take a lot of steps but if you want um to do it like faster what i should recommend is after you take out the jar just let it cool down for five minutes and then it'll work and you won't have to take a lot of steps. But it works both ways, so do it my way. And just carefully follow my steps. You see how it's pink? Yeah. My that my lips didn't used to be pink before. So you're just gonna put it in tap 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 tap. And then I had it. My mom's also worked. She got the ugly color. Okay, hers was like brown and hers is like so pretty, like and not the color, but she didn't put it in the microwave, she put it in the refrigerator, and so this is the lips, I'm going to show you that this was an epic fail for my mom because she made like the whole um, thing of Vaseline, right, and it was an epic fail, like Look at this. This looks like vomit or like poop. And then you put this. Oh, it actually works. If you put like a lot um, in like, you know, your eyeshadow. 
It still works a little bit, but it doesn't work a lot. I would recommend that you could use that stuff. Um, it would, it will work, but it just have to make a little bit of steps. But trust me, it works both ways. So I'm just telling you, whatever way you want to do it, it's the same way that you're gonna be. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to watch my spy mission video, um, which I'm gonna look, I'm gonna upload next. So I hope you guys enjoy Crayola lipstick, and I'll see you tomorrow, or the, <laughs> or I'll see you right now.